congratulations to the movie. I, I like it very much uh, because you're both are great in it. I firmly believe that everyone can be with the person they love. And I'm a collector myself, so I really love the movie. What do you like best about the film? Um, for me, I think I think there are there are many things about Ammonite that I, I really love and, and really appreciate. And I think one of the things for me is that, you know, this is a story set in a in a time in a period in history when um, when when same sex connections between women was not something that was discussed or it certainly wasn't acknowledged. And uh, and I, I, I love that Francis Lee, our director and the writer, he, he, he created a love story that is about two people falling in love. And the fact that they are two women is never addressed in a way that has hesitation or fear or secrecy around it. It just very much, it just is plain and simple. It just is a part of the, a part of the story. Um, and and I, I, I find that really gratifying because for me, I think, you know, we need more LGBTQ um, films in the mainstream and, and hopefully with a film like this one um, that will that will speak to that demographic and and will 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 add to the importance of of same sex stories. At some points, the, the interaction is very intense. Sersha, was it important to you who played the other part? Yes, it was. I mean, Kate was on board before me anyway, but if she hadn't been, I would have wanted it to be with Kate because um, I instantly felt very safe with Kate. Um, even from before we had worked together, you know, we, we, we seemed to get on very well. There was a real ease between the two of us and that was really what we needed in order to, to make the story work. And, you know, Kate and I were incredibly involved with Francis in in the sort of trajectory um, emotionally that, that these uh, women took and um, and yeah I would have only wanted to do that with someone that I that I admired and respected but also just someone that I could kind of have a laugh with and be on the same page as so. Mm -hmm. Both did each other good and uh, blossomed I think is that what the film is trying to convey? I think that's definitely a yeah sorry yeah it's a it's a an important part of the story that you know who we choose to love can also end up defining who we are and 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 teach us more about our true selves almost than sometimes each other and I do feel that that is a part of our story and a very beautiful part of our story go ahead Sash, sorry I, I I also think as well um just in our sort of current climate right now as we're going through this very very strange scary isolating time throughout the world that one of the, the the messages that I sort of really took away from the film is that when you give someone time and and care um it can it can heal them in in the greatest way possible and allow them to be the best version of themselves if you if you just sort of give them the, the sort of affection and, and care that they need. And, um, and we spend so much of the film just watching Mary take care of her and um, show her affection without Charlotte even realizing that that's happening. And there's a real sort of tenderness there that I, that I think is something that people have become really in touch with in their own lives now. You know, we've had so much time to think and so much time to either be by ourselves or be in our little support bubble with the people that we really love. And the, the one thing that we've all been able to give each other is our time and our attention. And um, that's what this film really conveys, I think. My time is up, unfortunately. Again, congratulations. Uh, all the best for you. Uh, Happy New Year. And uh, I hope I see you soon for another one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.